Congratulations on being the proud owner of a new Fortress High Performance Series 30-gallon truck bed air compressor. In this video, we'll go over some important setup, usage, and maintenance procedures to help ensure you get the best performance out of your compressor. To ensure it arrives in peak condition, your compressor is drained of oil before shipping from the factory to your store. Before you start the engine up, you must first add oil to the engine and the pump. Before setting up your compressor, ensure it's level. Prior to filling with oil, make sure the ignition switch is in the off position. Ensure the fuel valve is in the closed position. Locate and remove the yellow oil fill cap located on top of the pump crankcase. Then, using a funnel, fill the pump crankcase with SAE 30 weight non-detergent air compressor oil. Continue adding oil until the level rises to the center of the fill marking on the sight glass. Finally, reinstall the oil fill cap. To fill the engine with oil, first locate and remove the oil fill cap on the side of the engine. Then, using the funnel, add fresh 10W30 motor oil to the engine. Continue filling with oil until the level rises to the bottom lip of the fill neck. Reinstall the fill cap once the oil is at the correct level. Install the included ball valve onto the air outlet port on the end of the tank. Use thread sealer on the valve threads. If desired, the valve can also be installed on the opposite side of the tank by swapping the fittings. To ensure proper performance, treat 87 or higher octane fuel with ethanol fuel stabilizer to prevent buildup in your compressor's fuel system. Prior to starting, close the drain valve by turning its handle perpendicular to the valve body. Then close the inline shutoff valve on the compressor tank. Now open the pilot valve by rotating it to the vertical position. Then open the fuel valve. To start a cold engine, move the choke lever to the start position. For a manual start, turn the engine switch to the on position. To start, loosely grip the starter handle. Pull gently until resistance is felt, then pull quickly and firmly to turn the engine over. Allow the rope to retract while maintaining a loose grip on the handle. If the engine did not start, repeat this process until it starts. For electric start, place a fully charged 12 volt battery in a stable flat location near the compressor, or connect the compressor directly into the vehicle's electrical system. Pull off the cable boots from the terminals on the front of the compressor platform. Then attach the positive cable from the positive battery terminal to the positive terminal on the compressor. Next, attach the negative cable from the negative terminal on the battery to the negative terminal on the compressor. Turn the engine switch to the on position, then to the start position and hold until the engine has started. Allow the engine to run for several seconds. Then, if the choke lever is in the start position, move the choke lever to the run position. To stop the engine in an emergency, turn the engine switch off. If it's necessary to quickly depressurize the compressor, turn the power switch off. Then, pull the ring on the safety valve to quickly release stored air pressure. Under normal conditions, turn the engine switch off and then close the fuel valve. Then, close the inline shutoff valve. Next, drain the water and remaining air from the tank by opening the relief valve on the bottom of the tank. The following steps are general guidelines for maintenance checks for your air compressor. Before each use, inspect the general condition of the air compressor. First, check the oil level and look for leaks on the engine and pump. Then, make sure all nuts and bolts are tight. Next, ensure all moisture is drained from the tank by opening the drain valve located on the bottom of the tank. Also, check for air leaks using soapy water and a spray bottle. Then, inspect the belts to ensure proper tension and no excess wear. If the belts are in need of adjustment, use the onboard belt tensioner to adjust for proper tension. A step-by-step -step guide for adjusting belt tension is included later in this video. Finally, wipe off any dirt or oil from the compressor. Weekly maintenance for your compressor includes all of the steps outlined in the daily maintenance chapter, plus the following steps. Inspect the engine and pump air filters. Clean or replace any dirty filters. Next, inspect the oil breather and replace if needed. Monthly maintenance for your compressor includes all the steps outlined in the daily and weekly maintenance chapters, plus the following steps. Keeping up with scheduled maintenance will ensure your compressor performs at its peak. Inspect the pressure relief valves and isolation pads if installed. Check the pump oil periodically for clarity. Replace the oil if it appears milky or if debris is present, or every six months or 100 hours of runtime, whichever comes first. In harsh environments such as high heat or high humidity, replace the oil more frequently. To drain the oil, first place a container or drain pan under the oil drain plug. Next, remove the oil fill cap, then remove the oil drain plug, allowing the oil to drain into the container. When the oil is completely drained from the pump, replace the oil drain plug. Finally, using a funnel, fill the pump crankcase with fresh SAE 30 weight non-detergent air compressor oil. 
The engine oil should be changed every 6 months or 20 hours of operation, whichever comes first. Prior to changing the engine oil, ensure the compressor is off and has cooled down. First, place a drain pan underneath the crankcase's drain plug. Then, remove the drain plug and allow the oil to drain completely from the engine. Next, replace the drain plug and tighten it. Then, remove the oil fill cap. Using the funnel, add fresh 10W30 motor oil to the engine. Continue filling with oil until the level rises to the bottom lip of the fill neck. Finally, reinstall the oil fill cap once the oil is at the correct level. Draining moisture from the tank is essential to keep your compressor operating properly. To drain the moisture, ensure that the engine is off and that the power switch is in the off position. Next, open the drain valve by turning the handle parallel to the drain valve body. When all the moisture is released, close the drain valve. Check the air filter weekly to see if it needs cleaning or replacement. If you are working in dirty environments, you may need to clean or replace the filter more often. To do this, unthread the wing nut holding the air filter assembly in place. Then, remove the cover and air filter. Inspect the filter for accumulated dirt and debris and clean if necessary. Then install the clean filter in the cover and secure the cover with the wing nut. To check your engine air filter, locate and remove the air filter cover and the air filter elements and check them for dirt. If necessary, wash the element in warm water and mild detergent. Rinse and squeeze out the excess water and allow it to dry completely. Soak the filter in lightweight oil briefly, then squeeze out the excess oil prior to installing. Reinstall the filter and secure the air cleaner cover before use. To keep your compressor running in top condition, you'll want to periodically inspect the belts to ensure proper tension. To do this, begin by removing the belt guard cover and set it aside. Using moderate pressure, press on the center or longest span of each belt. The deflection distance or the distance the belt moves when pressed should measure between a half an inch to an inch. If either belt deflects more than one inch or less than a half an inch, you'll need to adjust the belt tension. Start the adjustment process by loosening the four engine mounting bolts. Next, if the belt's deflected more than an inch, turn the adjustment screws clockwise to shift the engine away from the compressor pulley. Be sure to adjust both screws in equal amount. If the belt's deflected less than half an inch, adjust the tension by turning the adjustment screws counterclockwise to shift the engine toward the compressor pulley. Then retest the belt tension to ensure it's within the proper range. Once the proper tension is set, retighten the engine mounting bolts. Finally, reinstall the belt guard cover before use. A troubleshooting guide has been included in your compressor's manual. For further questions, call our customer support team at 1-888-866-5797. Following these steps will help ensure you get the best performance from your new compressor. Your owner's manual has additional important information to help answer any questions you may have on how to safely operate and care for your compressor. In addition, our Customer Assistance Center is always eager to help with any questions you may have to ensure you're thrilled with your Fortress compressor for years to come.